Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited to do this video. I've been wanting to do this video for probably about a year and it is my eyeshadow collection-ish. I'm not showing you every single palette in my collection because it would literally take forever. So I swear I'm sitting here looking at like, oh, it's gotta be at least 30, 40 palettes. It's absolutely insane. We've got some ColourPop, we've got some Anastasia, BH Cosmetics, and of course we have some Morphe palettes. It seems like there's a new palette coming out like every week and it's so overwhelming and get in a really bad habit of thinking, I need to get this palette, I need to get this palette, I've gotta have this for my collection and you're just kind of influenced by the pretty packaging or one or two pretty shades in the palette. So, so it's definitely a struggle. And then it's also a struggle for people who are not big time eyeshadow palette lovers, buyers, people who just don't buy makeup very often sometimes can also feel very overwhelmed. So I'm gonna break down just a couple of my favorite palettes. I mean, they say certain makeup has a shelf life. I feel like, I don't know, all my palettes seem to perform very well after two or three years even so I don't really ever throw much away so before we jump into this video don't forget to like subscribe obviously right now if you watch my last video you cannot comment because YouTube has disabled my comments on every single one of my videos they're having a huge thing going on with um, videos that include minors and predators out there and they're trying to get a hold of it which is great but it's such a pain in the butt because sometimes my videos don't include minors my kids so I want to be able to interact with you guys and hear your feedback so you can always just DM me on Instagram if you have any questions so thank you guys again for coming back and let's just jump right into it so the first brand of palettes the first couple of palettes I want to talk about of course is Morphe just because I feel like this is what started it all for me Morphe I eyeshadows and also Makeup Geek eyeshadows, but those always came in single pans. Since this is a palette video, I'm not really going to include anything like that, but um, that's where you kind of can build your own palette, which was really cool, but a lot of people don't want to mess with that and pick out shades. Some people don't know what shades to pick out, so Morphe's a great brand. I know they sometimes come into a lot of heat in the, you know, social media world, but I really like Morphe. I will say the quality of their old palettes is nothing compared to their palettes that they've been releasing the past year or two. They've rebranded all their packaging as you can see the difference right here but you get a lot of bang for your buck you get a ton of shadows my very first morphe palette was the 35 I'm not going to include this in like my top favorites I just wanted to talk about it really quick this is what started my eyeshadow obsession this palette right here um, I believe I probably paid around $20. I don't ever remember prices. I'll link them right up here somewhere of how much I paid for it. But I will definitely have to say one of my favorite Morphe palettes, I bring it every time I freelance, brides, prom girls, whatever, is the Jaclyn Hill palette. I just love this palette because you kind of get it all in this palette. You really do. Of course, the queen Jaclyn Hill is the one who created it. I'm not gonna go on about this palette because everybody probably already knows. I haven't really got to play with some of the colors, but I really do love them. Just, I mean, look at that. Really great palette, you guys. I will insert swatches of all these palettes I'm talking about so you can kind of get an idea. But if you have not yet picked up this, I highly, highly recommend this. And you're still gonna be paying way less than some of these 50, even $60 palettes. I look really purple. The sun went away, come on back. Also on the lines of Morphe palettes, of course, are the Jaclyn Hill palettes that she came out with. I bought the whole set. However, I'm not gonna show you every single one. I'll include it, what they look like right here. But I just wanted to include the Arm and Gorgeous palette because this is definitely one of my favorites from that collection that she came out with. It's her second round of eyeshadow she collabed with with Morphe and just every single color in this palette is amazing. They're different from what is in my other palettes, I feel like. So this one, out of all she created, is definitely my favorite. It's a really good deal, good size pans, as you can see right here. There's someone staring out my window. Go away. So awkward. Lost? I think he went away. <laughs> I would have to pick my top two Morphe palettes. They're both from Miss Jacqueline herself. These two take the cake, her original one and the Armed and Gorgeous. Love, love, love these. Another brand of eyeshadow palettes that I really, really love are the Anastasia ones. I do have one more palette somewhere else, but I couldn't find it. The Subculture one, but those shades aren't really ideal for most people, so I wasn't even gonna include it anyway. I love them all. It's one that I bought long, long time ago. This brand is pretty expensive. I mean, usually a lot of their palettes are in the $40 range, so it's hard for some people to spend that much money just on 
on like 12 eyeshadows, but I will assure you guys that every single palette I've purchased from Anastasia, the quality of the eyeshadows is absolutely amazing and it's worth the money. It is. This is the Modern Renaissance. This is probably my absolute favorite from Anastasia. I have this on my eyes actually today, right now. Um, I love all the berry tones in this palette. It's just one of my absolute favorite palettes. Soft Glam one, I've only dabbled in this just a couple of times, just because I feel like I already own all these shades, but it is a very gorgeous palette. If you're looking for just neutral, neutral, nothing crazy, includes all your basic tones, then this is the palette for you, I feel like. And the little brush that all the palettes include is a really good brush, it really is. But again, if I had to pick my absolute favorite Anastasia palette, it would definitely be the Modern Renaissance palette, hands down absolute favorite. So I really don't want to talk about these because I do so much drugstore on my channel. I feel like people are gonna be like, oh my god, why are you even talking about those? Huda Beauty, love a lot of stuff from her line, but her prices, I mean, they're they're up there too. I believe these are $60 palettes. These are probably one of the most expensive palettes I own. Um, do I think you need them? No. Are they fabulous? Yes. <laughs> if you have the money to spend, definitely check out Huda Beauty. So I've had this one forever. She has a couple of different palettes. I don't own them all just because they're 60 freaking dollars. Her Desert Dusk palette, purples and mauves and golds and pinks and oh my gosh, it just screams Aladdin to me. Desert, <laughs> Oasis, whatever you want to call it. But I had to get it. It's a great palette, you guys, but I mean, a lot of palettes nowadays are already coming out with these colors, so I feel like you could skip out on this one. My husband just recently got me this palette for my for my anniversary, one of my anniversary gifts, because he knew I'd been eyeing it, but I just didn't want to spend the money on it. And that is the new nude palette that she came out with. I haven't dipped into it a whole lot yet because he just got it for me last month but I am wearing some of the colors on my eyes today along with um, the Modern Renaissance palette. I feel like these mattes blend out like a dream on your eyes. Um, they're super pigmented, so you can just start with just a teensy tiny bit and just work your way up. They're very beginner friendly, I feel like, because they do blend out super, super easy. No patchiness I have found with this palette right here. Again, 60 bucks, but I don't know. It's definitely different and unique, and I just, I really love it. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Now moving on to one of my all-time favorite brands of makeup that I pretty much mention in every single video I think here on YouTube is ColourPop. Now I've got probably four or five different palettes scattered around that I'm not even including in this video, but the ColourPop palettes, amazing quality, low, low price. You cannot beat the price of these palettes, you guys. Any of their makeup is amazing, but one of my all-time favorites, the Cute AF palette. This was their very first palette that they released. Is still one of my absolute favorites. It looks a little intimidating if you're not used to playing with eyeshadows like this mustard color, you know, the oranges, but I did a tutorial with this. I'll link it up here and down below if you're interested to see it. But you can come up with some really cool combinations with this palette. So if you are a warm tone fan girl, then this palette will be your best friend. All my neutral girls who are just very basic with their shadows. This is the double inter entrada. I can't ever say this palette's name. I wish I, I knew how to say it, but there's not much color going on. So neutral it is with this palette, but still very, very gorgeous. I love the champagne tones in this palette. I really, really do. And it also includes a red brick brown color, which, oh, it's always so pretty to throw that in the crease. And Miss Shayla collabed with ColourPop on this palette right here, the Perception palette. If you want color, get this palette, and every single color is amazing, you guys. I love this white shade right here. I love the champagne, the bronze tones. I've used this olive green. Oh my gosh, it is stunning. I mean, this palette right here has some gorgeous tones in it. Again, you don't even have to be color obsessed. I feel like this palette can really pop off some good neutral looks, but again, it's probably geared more towards the color lovers. But every single shadow is absolutely stunning. Say hands down of all my ColourPop palettes that I own, Exception palette would probably be my favorite. So I had to stop the video just right there because I could not say the word favorite without mentioning this ColourPop palette that I got in not long ago, you guys. This is the Sweet Talk palette that they came out with and oh my gosh. I mean, as you can see, the colors 
are amazing. This was their first palette ever with pressed glitters. And it also has like a little super shock shadow right up there. And I mean the formula of this, you guys. All their, all their palettes are amazing, but there's something special about this palette. I don't know if they just put a little extra loving in it, but everything is amazing in this palette. And I have been using it nonstop since I got it. I just had to include it since I did not have this palette on hand when I was making this video. Luckily it came in and I got to play with it before I was finishing editing it. Here's the back of it. It tells you all the pretty names. And then also here is a look that I did not long ago. I had so many compliments on my eyes. I'm definitely gonna recreate this look for you, but just look at the prettiness. Look at the colors, look at the glitter. Oh, get you this palette, you guys. You'll not be disappointed. Ulta is carrying a lot more nowadays. I'm so happy to see them in Ulta and I can't wait to see what else they come out with next. Another brand that just does not get enough notice I feel like on YouTube or Instagram or just from what I watch I guess are the Juvia's Place palettes and Ulta is starting to carry these. Hallelujah. So I think more people will start to um, hear about this brand. I only have two palettes from this brand and I intend on picking up more. Their palettes are very affordable but the thing with their palettes are look at the pan size that you get. Holy crap. Everything anybody could ever go through one of these palettes. I guess if you used it every day for like a year maybe. The Warrior palette, I mean, when I think of bronze goddess or just anything bronzy that I want to do, I'm going to reach for this palette right here. I absolutely love it. I also picked up their Zulu palette just because I feel like I need palettes with a little bit more color because when I do clients, some people request pops of color or even myself, I'm starting to play a little bit more than just neutral eyes. I know it's not always shown here on YouTube, but this has tons and tons of beautiful colors. I would have to say hands down. Let me just show you a couple live swatches so you can really understand what I'm talking about. Like, oh my goodness. Grab this gold one. Let's grab this pretty matte. Let's grab, and I'm hardly putting any pressure on my finger, you guys. Grab this pretty champagne color in the middle. I mean, come on. That is absolutely stunning. Put a little bit more of that matte so you can see it. But all of their shadows you guys oh my gosh why is this brand not talked about enough i don't know i'm so glad i found it they do have other makeup products i haven't really tested out any of their other products but i do know their eyeshadows are fabulous you guys i think i got this on sale they're always having a sale check their instagram for like 12 bucks and then i paid like five bucks for shipping but if you can find it at ulta i'm sure it's going to be under 20 dollars another palette i think i included this in my yearly favorites my top 2018 products was the desi and katie frankation palette i can't cannot forget to mention this. Absolutely love this palette, you guys. I use it all the time. Of course, it's got neutrals and it's also got your colors in there too, but the metallics, the shimmers, everything in this palette is stunning. The shadow quality is insane, but what's also insane is the price of this palette. Desi and Katie who collabed with Dosa Colors are huge here on YouTube when it comes to makeup and beauty. They did put a pretty steep price on this. I believe it's like $55, so uh, that's really expensive in my opinion, so it's not going to reach to all types of people, but if you have the money to spend, definitely, definitely pick this up. So obviously my, this shadow right here gets used a lot along with all the mattes. You see it right there. I mean, it's blinding, you guys. It's a gorgeous champagne. I absolutely love this Dirty Money shade just because it has different reflex. Some people see green. Some people see gold, as you can see right there. Some people see a little bit more bronze. It's just so cool that it changes like that. And I've also even used the blue a little bit. Surprisingly, me. Yeah, I don't use color very often. But again, all the mattes, fabulous, fabulous, super super pigmented. Everything in this palette is amazing. Just the price sucks. That's the only thing. I think I found this palette off Instagram. This is the uh, Jolie or Jolie. I don't know how they pronounce it. Bomb.com palette. I'm just including this just because a lot of people still love to use glitters on their eye. So if you like to use glitters and a glitter glue and you know how to work those, then this palette, you guys, I mean, come on. Look at that baby. It has every single color that you need. It really saves you a lot of money than having to buy the little individual jars of glitter to put on your eye looks. So they have bronze, they have pink, blues, everything. I mean, I think my colors that I use the most, and I take this with me when I freelance because if someone requests an eye look with glitter, I know this palette most likely will have me covered. I love this bronze shade right here. I love this aquamarine color right here. 
of course the white and all the gold I really haven't dabbled too much in the pinks you will need a glitter glue with this palette you can't just touch it with your finger or a brush and put it on your eye because they're you know they're loose glitter let me just kind of show you what I mean let me pick up this so on the finger it does pick up quite a bit but when you tap it on your eye you're gonna get so much fallout unless you use a glitter glue um, Too Faced has one, NYX has one. See what I mean? It's like it's crumbling. It's crumbling down my hand here. Purple one right here is actually really, really pretty. It's very springy. So these swatches are just going to absolutely suck. Here's a couple of those colors right there. They're very, very pretty. Very pretty. You just need a glue. You just gotta, you gotta work a little bit. Save you some money if you're into glitters. Buy you a big glitter palette like this. Okay guys, another brand I want to talk about is BH Cosmetics. BH Cosmetics finally has made it into Ulta and I'm so happy because more people can find out about this awesome brand. They make brushes, they make eyeshadow palettes, they make lipsticks, foundations, a lot of different things and it's very, very, very affordable makeup. So I have a couple of their palettes right here. Again, like I talked about with that glitter palette, um, it's good just to have. This one is their Take Me Back to Brazil. Obviously, I do not use this very often, but if I ever need to have some fun colors, I have a palette like this. Super cheap. There's one of their palettes. Another palette that I have mentioned in my last two videos was the Desert Oasis palette, you guys. Oh my gosh. It comes with some gorgeous warm tones. It comes with highlighting shades. Um, you could do almost your whole face. You could use that for bronzer. You could use that for highlighters, brow bone, inner corner, eyeshadow. I mean, you name it. So that's one thing I really, really love about this palette. Just look at this blue here, you guys. A lot, a lot of palettes are starting to include just little pops of color. And blue seems to be very, very popular this past year. And the quality of this blue is amazing super super pigmented I mean it's a gorgeous blue now let me see a blue that's in a more expensive palette um, ah this is the KKW palette that she collabed with Mario Kim Kardashian West if you don't know who that is she has a blue in her palette and I will just go ahead and spill the beans this palette did not wow me at all I kind of was pissed that I even spent the money on this but I just felt like I had to have it because it was Kim Kardashian's palette that she came out with I just was not really impressed with this palette but so let me take her blue right beside this blue pretty close you guys pretty dang close and that palette was like 50 bucks I honestly think the uh, BH cosmetics blue has a little bit more metallic a little bit more payoff to it than uh, hers just seems kind of flat maybe she wanted it more satin matte formula I don't know but I think the BH cosmetics blue is way prettier than hers another palette you guys from BH Cosmetics that I dip into so often still. I have several videos of using this palette. This is Bible palette that she collabed with. Look, I mean, look at how pretty this is. It comes with this gigantic mirror and look at these shades. Like the Desert Oasis palette, this does have tons of highlighting shades up here that are beautiful. I use these as Highlighters on the face, I use them to highlight the cheeks. So you can definitely, uh, I mean. Look at the shine of those babies. And then every single shadow down here is absolutely gorgeous. This is just a great palette. Only check out BH Cosmetics if you have yet to do so, but. I would definitely say my top five at the end of talking about all of those. Jaclyn Hill palette. Love, love this. Can't go wrong when getting a palette like that. Love the Desi Katie Dose of Colors one. Even though it's got a steep price, it's definitely made it into my top five. Modern Renaissance, I have to include this because I still use it. I bought this years ago and I'm still constantly using it. I've hit pan on a couple of shadows, but it's still going strong. The Desert Oasis by BH Cosmetics. I just love all the shades you get in here. Highlighting, eyeshadows, everything about it. You could even use some of them as bronzers. So and last but not least ugh, is the Warrior Palette by Juvia's Place. Oh my gosh, you guys. This one just, just does it for me right here. All these tones, absolutely gorgeous. Let me just give you one more shot of that palette.
These palettes right here definitely round out my top favorites. I'm trying to be better this year about what I spend on makeup and how much I buy. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of these palettes. Definitely just look at your swatches, do your research, um, look at what you have before you go out and buy palettes unless you just want to collect palettes like I tend to do. Who am I to say you can't do it? Thank you guys so much for watching my channel and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.